Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to show people um, how uh, the streaming or uh, IQ feed works. Um, I've just got their API license. I've also got access to all the source code to enabling me to connect into uh, the uh, feed, li their live feed, um, depending upon the type of services I want with IQ feed. Anyhow, um, there's many different options. Um, I think I've shown the .NET ones. Uh, let me just pull them up here. Okay, so you have, as I said, v Visual C++, Visual C uh, Sharp, and Visual Basic. There's also some Java examples, and I'm actually finding the Java um, examples are a little more um, useful. There's a lookup application, um, which I can easily uh, bring up. Um, and uh, let me just uh, get to that little guy. Uh, okay, just let me uh, navigate to that part. Take, give me a bit of time here. Okay, so this is the regular download, but in, as part of the API, you get the example apps. So here are all the example apps. Okay, um, the one I want to show is the lookup um, app. So let me just pull up another um, uh, DOS prompt here. Uh, command prompt. Okay, so let me just navigate to that. Uh, that uh, folder. All right. So, voila, here we are. This is where we want to be. We want to run this little guy right here, lookup client. So, if I uh, run it, so it's going to connect in the server as no different than this other one called streamer. It's going to give me, a, it's already connected into the server, into the IQ feed. So now I'm just going to do some very basic stuff. So I'm just going to do a tick history um, based upon number of data points. So that's option 13. Ask for the symbol. So I'll put in Apple. Everything's got to be uppercase, max, hundred, uh, data points. I'll just say 10. It could be as many as you want. Uh, zero for newest to oldest. Quest ID. Um, uh, max data points percent, I'll say 10. Um, there you go. So there's the data for Apple. Um, cause I'm not, this, the market's closed right now. So, um, it might, might repeat itself, which maybe it does this is the last set of transactions into Apple. And again, you get all these different choices. So that's one app. Now this sample app in, in Java will show you how all the different functions or functionality will work for future future spreads all this stuff but this app is the really really cool one because this is a stream that continuously displays and you can um, basically add to a watch list uh, as it's connected into the socket of the IQ feed client so let me show you what that means so if I type in watch and then I go IBM so I just did that W IBM and it's now watching IBM. So because the market's closed, um, any you know what would if the market was open, you would, you would see all the transactions for IBM come through the streamer. Okay. So um, I've done the same thing with as I said for Apple, and here's the latest on Apple. So it's now going to watch Apple and any any trades that come through, it, it, it'll pop up in this stream. So it's kind of cool functionality. Um, and then you can also remove remove those um, those those symbols. You just type in R and then the symbol name, and you're 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 good. You're you're done. You also can exit the streamer just like that by typing in X. So that's that code is supplied in Java. It's a fairly simple code. As I said before, I'm not going to sit here and display the code because I don't want to break any potential uh, terms of services uh, licenses. But um, what I have done is I've enabled um, the same concept but done this in MATLAB. So this is now in MATLAB 2011 and I'm running a script that's connecting into uh, the server for IQ feed and uh, it's just connecting to server. But with the same concept of the streamer, this guy right here, I can add 
uh, watch lists and remove items from the watch list as well no different than what, what I showed you in the streamer that's what I'm planning to do with this um, uh, new HFT platform that I'm going to work with um, so what essentially is going to happen is is whatever I watch in in, in the uh, stream uh, and uh, it sees something that it likes in terms of uh, something that gets triggered in my watch list or in my algo watch list uh, it, that's where the um, the algos will kick in um, and then do whatever I want the algos to do so I'm, I'm, I'm working on that that actually that code already exists um, but the problem is just porting this code over into this new HFT to watch the uh, IQ feed for data um, I'm not really interested in Yahoo, I'm not really interested in, in interactive brokers is for the reasons I've explained in other videos. So that's where I'm going. Once that's done, everything should be ready to go. Um, and um, I'm kind of excited to see it within my uh, high frequency trading platform or the proposed one for simulation. And then I got to do the same version, but for uh, production code as well. So that's where we're at. I'm hoping to get this done fairly soon be able to demonstrate this uh, new system that I'm going to have. It's going to be, uh, what I'll say, is pretty kick-ass. All right? That's a new framework I'll be working with all within MATLAB. Later.